Hey guys, Satchel here with another video. So today we're going to be showing you how to do the cowboy to the enter exit vehicle. So uh, just to show you here, I'm using iOS, uh, but you can use Android. Um, so as long as you're using mobile, uh, that's really the main point. So if you need to, you just uh, download that from the Unity Hub. And you know, so we're not using the PC Mac, we are going to be using the iOS today. Uh, so I did download that from Unity Hub. All right, and so uh, here's the standard assets. So make sure you do have the full import of that. And um, the third person scene, we're kind of be we're gonna be jumping in where we left off with that. And uh, so go ahead and drag in uh, and import the uh, enter exit vehicle package and then once that's all imported uh, go ahead and open up the scene uh, for the inner exit vehicle once you have that open um, we're going to create some prefabs So we just drag down the driver manager, and then we're going to go back to our third person cover shooter scene. And then go back to the enter exit vehicle folder, you're going to want to drag in the waypoint car. So I've already went ahead and uh, made a place for it. So I'm using the terrain tool and uh, shift uh, left click and you can just flatten out the surface that you need. So that's what I did here. Just a little bit of terrain work. Adjusted the car so it's level. And so for the driver manager, I'm just dragging the cowboy to the respective spots. Um, then I, I'm going to drag in the driver prefab. So we're going to make a game object out of that. Uh, and then you want to drag that to the driver manager. And then You'll see here what the oopsie is about. I accidentally dragged the driver manager into its own spot. Um, so don't do that. But you'll see we did fix that right here. This is something I recorded later on in the video. Um, but yeah, I just fixed it. OK, so uh, continuing on. Uh, now we're doing the cameras. And so. Yeah, the multi-purpose camera rig, you will want to drag that in. That is in the uh, cameras folder from the standard assets. And so here on the car AI control, we're going to be adding it so where it's easier to change the name so you don't have to edit the script at all. Uh, you can do it within Unity. So like the cowboy, you know, if that's going to be a different character's name throughout the game, uh, it's going to, we're going to need an easier way to change this name here without opening up the script every time. Uh, it'll be, and there's also other ways to do that. Uh, for instance, you know, uh, using a tag or a layer to get it a reference to that. 
So right here, we're just adding the public string. And we're just going to call it char name. And um, so we could use the char name uh, later on. That'll be the reference to uh, the string that we use inside. So we could just leave it here. And that's perfectly fine, because then we can just add it in there. But also, if we just going to have a, a solid name for good, uh, we could do equals, quotations, and then the actual character name. So let's go ahead and take the short name. Uh, and then we're just going to replace it down here. But you don't need the quotations. So that's what we need to remove. That's the important piece that might be holding you up possibly. So start typing ch and it should give you the option because we have already made that uh, that string available. So again, char name. And at this point you can copy and paste it if you want. So that gives us the ability uh, once this unity editor finishes with the loading of the project, um, we'll see that we can change the name from this uh, module right here, the char name. So we'll go ahead and type in cowboy. So go ahead and open up the abandoned car script. And we're just essentially going to do the same thing. So we're adding a string, and we're just going to be changing uh, the ability from having to write that code to using uh, text inside the editor. So essentially, I'm just copying and pasting, uh, nothing fancy. So here's our string. And then changing the character name inside the quotations to the string's uh, char name. So now that we've edited the abandoned car script, we just need to open up the car objects prefab and then type in the cowboy under the char name string. So now we're going to add the UI button and uh, the easiest way to do this um, now there could be other ways you could use the zoom button uh, like we did in the other sort of turning it into a toggle where it'll change some of the UI um, so you could go down that path so right now I'm just duplicating the jump button and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move that up into our weapons panel so it's in a nice place so when we get into the area where we want to enter or exit or where we want to enter the vehicle So we're just changing the button handler script, the name, we're going to change that to enter exit. And so to do the input on the script, it's just sort of the same way that we, how we used on the third person when we were doing the mobile. So if you need some refresh, go back and watch that video on how we did the using Unity Unity Standard Assets, or the using Unity Standard Assets dot cross platform input, 
and then we're going to put that onto our car AI control. And so now that we have the cross-platform components added, <clears throat> we can simply go down to where our input is on our key code event. And this is where we're going to change in quotations. We want to add the text enter exit that we just put on the button handler script. And then we want to change the input. We want to do the cross-platform input manager. And so with the get key down, uh, all we need to do is just change this to a get button down. And so since we need to use this again, uh, let's go ahead and copy that. And uh, we can go over to the abandoned car script. We're going to change that input. We're going to go ahead and paste that in there. And then let's go back up here, copy the using. And then we'll paste that into the abandoned car. And so the abandoned car, uh, the car AI control scripts, those are taken care of. And so back on the enter exit button, uh, let's go ahead and go into the text uh, object. And then we're going to change that text so it's more uh, friendly to what we're using. So we'll just change that to enter exit. And then uh, <clears throat> let's go ahead and open up the car switcher script, add the using component. And then we're going to find the key code, change the key to button. Input, we're going to switch that to the cross platform input manager. And then for the key code, quotations. And then we're going to type enter exit. And that's all the scripting uh, that should be needed. There are some things that I'm still working on, but yeah, so we'll, let's go ahead and test it out. So there's the button. And since it's all sort of in that Unity standard assets that it comes with, the mobile controls already work with the car. And uh, so you can see here, um, that's the abandoned car that I'm walking towards, pressing the button. It didn't work that time. I don't know why, but yeah, so try it again. And uh, there you go. So yeah, um, I hope that helps. Uh, some of the other things like animations, uh, that's a little tougher. I'll see what I can do. But hey, thanks a lot, guys, for checking it out. Uh, have a good night.